Ensemble, E7AI slash ML, AppKit is a tool designed to help developers, engineers, and researchers experiment with, test, and deploy artificial intelligence and machine learning applications directly on the device without needing to send data to remote cloud servers. It is based on the Alif Ensemble E7 Fusion processor, featuring four cores, two ARM Cortex-M55 and two Cortex-A32, and two machine learning accelerator coprocessors, two ARM Ethos U55 micro MPUs, along with memory and peripherals to run ML models locally. It supports Bluetooth Low Energy, BLE, Wi-Fi, and other optional interfaces for data transmission, Before powering on the app kit, you need to verify that the configuration jumpers are set as shown in the figure. Specifically, the jumpers include J-Link on board, which must be enabled. J21 for 3.3V power on the USB, J15A and J15B for the SUART. J3 for 3.3 volts, J4 for 1.8 volts, J6 for Wi-Fi, J5 for 1.8 volts, Flex I.O. J11 for the camera LDO at 2.8 volts. The device includes several integrated sensors such as a microphone, inertial measurement unit, gyroscope, accelerometer, environmental sensor, etc., allowing developers to explore a variety of applications. A power source providing sufficient current is required. After powering the app kit via a USB cable connected to the PRG USB port on the board, you will see a startup message followed by the default face detection application. The inference process can be started and stopped using the center button of the SW2 joystick. The default application displays the number of human faces detected, image resolution, inference time, in this case visual, and the number of inferences per second. Note that inference is the process by which a pre-trained artificial intelligence model uses its knowledge to make predictions or decisions on previously unseen data. Real-time facial detection can be extremely useful for driver monitoring, detecting drowsiness or distraction for vehicle safety purposes. Now it's time to download and use the Alif Security Toolkit, a software tool provided by Alif Semiconductor. The toolkit manages firmware and device security. Several versions are available for different operating systems, Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Simply download one of the indicated files and extract it into a working folder. Uh, files with the X extension are executables that can be directly run by the user. We will demonstrate only a few of them. Let's now look uh, at the maintenance.x utility, which provides valuable information about the device. After launching it in a terminal window, it will ask for the corresponding COM port. The software also detects the transmission speed. The various menus guide the developer through the operations based on their needs. When uh, running the maintenance.exe utility for the first time, it creates the file ispconfig data.cfg which contains all the board's connection information, including the serial port name.
in case of changes or problems, it's recommended to delete this file. And the system will then recreate it with the correct settings. It's often useful to erase the MRM contents of the device. This can be done by entering the command app, write mram-eapp from the command prompt in the same folder as the previously discussed utilities. To simplify the process, we will use an online demo from the official ALIF website. Go to the section dedicated to pre-built demos and specify the model of the camera installed on the board. In our case, uh, it's the MT9 M114 camera. Download the zipped archive and extract it into a working folder. To streamline file organization, focus on the config and images folders inside the build folder. The config folder contains the project's JSON specifications, while the images folder contains the binary files ready to be uploaded to the device. Now create an ATOC image and specify the correct JSON file. Now we raise the MRAM. Finally, upload the binary file to the device using the app write mram command. It will take a few seconds to transmit the data. In any case, the sample distributions also include batch files that automate the procedure. The object recognition system is now running. As you can see, it correctly identifies a fork, a digital watch and a tennis ball. To create your own projects, you'll need a good development system that interfaces with AI models.